ago we packed up our bags and we drove to Madrid where we'll be spending a long weekend. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to make a video and show you what I pack for my dog and what are the things that I take with me on our travels. Hi, my name is Miruna and this is my Westie dog Sami. I make weekly videos showing you our life with a Westie, so make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Okay, so in case you're looking at this cute dog bag and you're wondering where I got it because it's so freaking adorable, um, the answer is um, it's not actually a dog bag, it's a lunch bag that I found in a local Chinese shop in Portugal where I live. Um, I paid around 5 euros for it and I love it. So. I don't have a link for it in case you want one too. Um, I don't know, maybe you can find something like this on Amazon. I just look for a lunch bag and maybe they have this cute doggy print. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the most basic things that any dog owner has. Poop bags. I've got this really cute poop bag dispenser from Z-Dog. Um, I really like it, but truth is I never get to take the whole thing with me. I usually just take one bag, stuff it in my pocket, and that's it. Sammy doesn't poop more than once, so usually one is enough, maybe two if I want a backup. Um, I've got two more rolls of poop bags that I got with me just for backup. Sammy's harness, and I actually carry two just in case. Uh, they are both from Z-Dog and I love them a lot. This is actually my favorite harness. I love the colors and you can actually see that it's super worn out from all the washing and Sammy is just wearing this all the time. Um, and this is the leash for it that I also love and this is the short leash that I use for walks, um, especially in a big crowded city like Madrid. Um, I always use a short leash to just have more control um, of Sami since he's not exactly walking at heel as he should. So this is my main leash. This is also super handy if you stop at a cafe and you need to tie the dog to the chair or to the table. Um, it's super secure. Um, then I've got the retractable leash. Um, this is the, I think, three meter leash that I have. And this is great for when we go to a park or, you know, an open space like that. Then I've got this really cute treat pouch that I just got recently from Amazon. I'm gonna put the link in the description for you. Um, it's made of silicone, it has this little magnet here, and it's really, really practical to carry treats. And of course, the treats. These are the treats that I currently have. They are some uh, turkey treats that Sami, of course, loves. Anything that is meat-based, he loves. So, now, no, senta. Yoga. Okay. I always take with me one silicone bowl like this. Um, it's super practical, it's light, and it's great for when we stop somewhere on the road and I want to feed Sami or give him water. These are really great. You can find them on Amazon, they're super cheap. I usually buy uh, like two or three just to have a spare. Um, I also got a travel water bottle that I don't have with me right now, but this is the one that I'm talking about. I'm gonna put it here. Um, it's a little bit more on the heavy side, so if you don't want to carry that, this is probably better. But this is also really good to have. I always keep one in the car and it's absolutely great. Then I always take with me the food and water bowls for the hotel room, you know, because most hotels, uh, dog-friendly hotels, don't actually provide bowls for the room. So I always take mine with me. I've got Sami's bandanas. I always take some bandanas, uh, you know, because they look nice in photos and I like to have them, I like to have him all dressed up on our walks. And these are actually from our shop. They are handmade by us. And if you want one, you can check the link in the description and see all the models that we have. They are really cute and you're gonna love them. 
and this is actually the newest one this is a Halloween edition and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to take some photos with Sami wearing it Okay, so next it's the grooming stuff that I always have with me. This is the pouch that I keep all this stuff in. Um, I've got some dog toothpaste. I've got Sammy's toothbrush, toothbrushes actually, right here, the two of them. Um, I brush Sammy's teeth roughly every night. I try every night. And so I always travel with these with me. If you want to know more about this, I have a video where I'm showing you how I brush Sammy's teeth. I'm going to link it here and down in the description so you can watch it. Next, I've got two combs to brush Sammy's coat. These are great for cleaning, detangling, and also he looks cute and fluffy after I brush him. Um, I've got a video on grooming if you're curious to know more. I'm also going to link it here and in the description. I also packed this really cute sweater that I got from Wagwear. I love it, it's super cute. I don't usually dress Sami up, but this is absolutely adorable. And I honestly just packed it so I could take some photos because um, it, the weather is not chilly at all, so he doesn't really need it right now. But yeah, I just wanted to show it to you. I think it's really cute and I'm gonna put the link for it in the description. And if you wanna get one too, use our code SAMI10 to get 10% off of anything in the store. And of course, we can't travel anywhere without taking at least one toy for SAMI. And this time I actually got two. They don't fit in this little bag. These are his favorite toys at the moment. Um, and we play every night before bed a little bit in the room right now. He's super sleepy. So he's not gonna play Are you gonna play? <laughs> no, nope, we're gonna play later Yeah, so he's super sleepy um, Anyway, this is actually a toy that he got um, two weeks ago for his birthday um, if you want to check it out, I'm gonna link uh, the video of Sami's birthday here and in the description. And if you want to get inspired and see what other presents he, he got, watch the video and see. So moving on to more serious stuff. As some of you may know, Sami is dealing with some skin allergies, which is a super common health issue for Westies. Uh, most Westies, I think, are allergic to something Actually, leave me a comment if you have a Westie. I'm curious to know um, if your Westie has allergies too. Uh, Sami is allergic to dust mites and storage mites, which is a really um, unpleasant allergy to have because he's basically allergic to dust and dust is everywhere. So anything can trigger his allergies and cause him to have a, a flare up and hot spots. Um, yeah, so this is something that I need to manage all the time. He doesn't take any medication for it. Um, this is something that I, I'm gonna talk about maybe in a future video um, if you wanna know more. Yeah, so the way I manage his allergies is I have a few things that I do um, all the time on a daily basis. Um, and I have some products that I always travel with that I'm gonna show you now. So the first one is the grooming wipes that I use to clean Sami everywhere. Um, I do this every evening before bed. I clean his paws, his face, his belly, just uh, everything. And these are um, my favorite cleaning wipes. They are fragrance free, which is great for a dog with skin allergies, obviously, uh, because they don't irritate the skin at all. And um, yeah, I recommend them if you want to check them out. Uh, the link is in the description. It's called Pogi's Pet Supplies Grooming Wipes, the fragrance free version. The next thing that I always have with me is a chlorhexidine mousse. And the one that I'm using now is from Duxo S3. Um, it's, a, it's basically a mousse that you can use instead of shampoo. 
um, and it contains 3% chlorhexidine, which is a solution that helps disinfect the skin. So you can use it instead of shampoo, because of course you wouldn't want to give your Wessie a bath all the time. Um, and you can use this daily, just put it on their coat, you know, just on the areas that uh, they usually lick, scratch. Um, and it does a great job, it disinfects and it hydrates the skin. So I never go anywhere without one of these. Um, this brand also has a travel version that is um, like this. And you, you basically have these little discs inside that have the same ingredient, it's the same composition. It's just a lot easier to use. For emergencies, um, when Sami gets those really nasty hot spots that um, he just licks them and he makes them really worse and I find that nothing else helps, I have a hydrocortisone spray that I always take with me. Um, this is uh, from Court Advance Virbach. Um, it's recommended by our vet and it, it worked wonders every time I used it. You just uh, spray a little bit of it on the red um, itchy areas and in about an hour uh, or even less it tones down the itching and it makes it it makes Sami a lot more comfortable. Um, I try to use this as rarely as possible because it's a strong product and it's not good to use it often uh, but yeah I just have it with me for emergency situations. And there's of course the itchy dog's best friend the cone of shame. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, this needs no introduction. Um, it helps in case Sami scratches or licks his paws a lot. And as you may know, the saliva makes everything worse. So the worst thing that um, an itchy dog can do is lick and scratch. So if you're in this situation, use a cone with confidence. <laughs> Um, so I put this on and, you know, Sami is a little bit uncomfortable, but it makes it all better um, long term. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like this. Don't, don't. Oh. Thankfully, we didn't actually get to use this on this trip, so yay. And also on the subject of allergies, of course, I've got Sami's food. Um, this is the food that he's gonna need for these next few days, so I don't pack a lot of it. Um, he's currently on, um, I actually don't remember what food this is because I keep switching, but I always give him heels uh, for skin problems. So it's either Derm, derm Defense or Derm Complete or um, ZD, I think, or DD. So I'm gonna check at home and see which food he's currently on right now and I'm gonna uh, put it in the description for you. I found that this uh, food is the best for his skin problems. He does really great on it, his blood tests are great. I think his allergies are a little better than before when he was eating just regular food. Um, it's a high quality food and I really recommend it. These are some dog shoes that I recently bought from Wagwear. I can't recommend them enough. Sami's been wearing them for every walk uh, for I think two months now. Um, they are really great because they protect his paws from the dirt, from sharp objects um, and from allergens as well. I found that his paws look a lot better since he's been wearing these. His uh, pads and toe beans are softer and of course there's the clean aspect i don't need to wash his paws or clean his paws after every walk yeah so i i never go anywhere without these now i love them and plus he looks so cute in them i don't think i've gone anywhere without at least one person stopping to just look at how cute he looks wearing his little shoes and take a photo and yeah it's it's absolutely crazy <laughs> I have a video where I talk more about these if you want to check it out. I'm going to link it here and in the description. I'm really happy with them. Uh, Sami got used to walking in them really quickly and for that reason I actually got a second pair uh, that I'm going to show you. He hasn't worn them yet. 
I still have them um, in their little bags. They are brand new and I think Sami's gonna wear them uh, for the first time on this trip. Uh, this is the winter, fall, winter uh, version that has no holes and here's a comparison. Um, if you want to get a pair for your dog too, um, Sami wears the XS and I'm going to put the link in the description for you. Make sure to use our code SAMI10 to get 10% off. So that's pretty much it. That's what's in my dog's bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in comments what you thought of it and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!